Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to remove an image background in Design Beast, which is a 6-in-1 graphic design and animation suite. If you haven't yet, I'd encourage you to watch my review video to learn more. So I'm logged into my Design Beast account. I'm in the dashboard area. Let me scroll down. This is the one-click background remover app. I'll click this blue arrow button to open the app. You start by uploading your image. So I'll click on the Upload Image button. I'll choose my image and click Open. It'll start loading and processing the image. And here it is. Let me scroll down. And as you can see, this is the original image. And this is the image with the background removed. If you're happy with the image, you can download it. If not, click on the Edit button to fine tune it. This will open the editor. Here is the eraser with which you can fine tune the edges if needed. This is the restore brush, which I'll show you in a moment. These are standard undo and redo buttons. The brush size slider allows you to adjust the size of the eraser and the restore brush. As you can see, it's currently set to 30 pixels. And you can see the brush size in the preview section. If I adjust the size to 80 pixels, you can see that the brush size has increased. You can use the zoom tool to zoom in and zoom out of the image. For example, I can use the plus button to zoom in and then adjust the position using the scroll bars like so. Now let me show you how the restore brush works. As you can see, currently the eraser is on. So for example, if I were to accidentally erase a portion of the image like so, I can use the restore brush to restore the image by clicking it to activate it, and then use a brush like so to restore it. And of course, I could also use the undo button. Down below, you have a reset button, which will reset the image like so. You can also cancel the changes, and finally save the changes, and it'll close the editor. You can then use the download button, to download the image, like so. And here is the downloaded image. As you can see, it didn't do a great job with the edges, so you'll have to most probably do some fine-tune editing. Let me go back to the app. In the main menu up top, you can click on Dashboard, which will take you back to the main Design Beast dashboard. But that's pretty much it. Design Beast is available at a special low one-time price during launch. Check the link in the description section. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.